I was on site at UPL's Shrey Hill Development Farm doing some work in their new orchard when I noticed they were building a very substantial polytunnel that had more metalwork than usual in the roof. And this gave me an idea. All that steelwork would make a good challenge for the R150 robot's RTK navigation. Conventional wisdom, and indeed common sense, says don't use RTK navigation under metal structures. You'll get weird RTK signal bounce and there'll be areas of RTK shadow and the robot will lose its connection and accuracy and probably blow up. But what's the reality? So, I selected the central tunnel to make it as tricky as possible for the RTK signal and plotted a course right down the middle. And to add a little spice, I mapped an exit route between the stout metal pillars. What could possibly go wrong? As it happens, nothing. The XAG R150 was arrow straight, no wobbles, no jitters, even under all the steelwork. <laughs> it even found the door, even though I did have to hold my breath as it took the last tight turn. Does XAG's RTK work in polytunnels? Hell yes it does.